What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here with another video. So we sent a tarp last month in Mission 65, and uh, I just want to show everyone real quick a quick and easy way that you can put up a ridge line so that you can put your tarp up. And uh, honestly, I have no clue what these knots are called, <laughs> so you might have to try to figure that out for yourself. But these are knots that I use putting up a ridge line so that I don't have to worry about trying to get knots out it's quick, it's easy to put up, and easy to take down, and it works really, really well. So if you struggle with knots, and you know it looks like a bird's nest when you're done tying your knots, and um, things aren't staying tight, give this a shot, and I'm sure it's gonna help you out. So, first thing you obviously need is some paracord. Got some right here. Roughly about the length that you need. Um, add a couple feet on each end, and you'll be good to go. So. Let me show you how to get started. So the first thing you need to do is get tied off to your first tree. So real quick, what I wanna say, kinda inform you guys on is some terminology. When you hear somebody say a loop, this is a loop, okay? It's crossing over itself, creating a loop. When you hear somebody say a bite, it's this. The lines are touching but they're not crossing. So this is a bite, this is a loop. Loop crosses, a bite is just touching side by side. This is a bite, okay? So take your tag in, your loose end, your working end, go around the tree. And I'm gonna do this low so Steve can film it um, easier. Obviously you're gonna wanna do it up higher, uh, but I'm gonna do it down low just to show you the technique. So. I got my working end here on my right side. I'm gonna lay it on my hand just like this. Or you can do it in your palm. You wanna put your working end under your pinky. Be sure you got enough line. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop it over and around and lay it back on top. So I'm going around these three fingers, back over top of my pinky, Here's my two lines, okay? Now what you're gonna do is grab both lines. So I got both my lines now in my right hand. I'm gonna turn this hand, go over here. Now what I've created is another loop. I'm gonna grab my working end, my tag end, and I'm gonna pull it through that loop and tighten it up as best I can, okay? Now I've created another loop. Working ends loose, I have the end that's gonna go to the other tree. I can pull that tight to the tree. Just like that. That's not going anywhere. There you go. If you want to, you can tie this back through the loop and create a bite or another knot right there if you want to. I just leave mine loose because it's not going anywhere, okay? Now we're gonna go to the other tree. All right, so now at the other tree, I'm gonna go around the tree. Again, I'm keeping it low for video purposes. Okay. And here's where a lot of people run into the problem. They want to get it really tight, but they don't know how to tie this off. So sometimes people loop around, go back around, and they just do some overhand knots or something right here, which works, don't get me wrong. But you got more knots to loosen up, and sometimes you don't get the tension that you want. So here's a little trick. So this is what I do. So here's my line coming from the other tree. Take two or three fingers, I typically use three. I'm gonna reach over, grab it, and create a loop right here. Now with this loop, I'm gonna grab this line again that's going to my new tree, and I'm going to create a loop in the line just like this, okay? So now I've got an area to attach to, to pull tight. And what you wanna be sure you do 
is you want to be sure that you're far enough away from the tree so when you're pulling this tight this loop doesn't end up all the way up against the trunk of your tree so i'm not sure if i'm far enough i'm going to do it again just a little further back so grab loop grab your line again pull it through now you have a loop in your line. Now I'm gonna pass my working end through that loop. Now I have a way to pull this ridge line as tight as I can get it. Just like that. So that's pretty tight. Now I grab all the loop and these three lines together and lay that over just like that create a bite bring it in pull it this way so now it's just as tight as it was when I was pulling it and I don't have a bunch of crazy knots here now just for security you can go just do a simple half hitch right here and that'll keep it from coming loose, but it's not going to. So that's a really tight ridge line without any crazy knots. Yeah, very tight. Boing, 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 banjo tight. Okay, so now what do you do with your tarp? So like this Southern Survival tarp that we just sent through, it's got grommets and then it's got these loops right here. So how do I connect that to my ridge line? Well, there's a knot called a prussic knot, okay? I like to use bank line for this because it's small and easy to manage. Um, and it's a different color, so you'll be able to see it better <laughs> on this, this uh, glow in the dark paracord right here. So you just need a little bit, just create a bite, double it up, and you can cut off your excess right here. So basically I've got a, I don't know, 16 inch piece of bank line. All I'm gonna do is put my two tag ends together and just do a simple knot right here. I said it was simple. There we go. So it's simple knot. Now I've got a loop, essentially, right? So this is how you tie a prussic knot. So on your ridge line here, you wanna lay your knot or your line over the top about halfway and you're simply just gonna keep looping the knot end over. I like to do three or four times. And try to keep your knots as your loops as neat as possible. And then all you're gonna do is pull that in. As you can see, it creates that and then bunch them together. So now what essentially we've done is we've created a way we can run this up and down our ridge line to attach to our tarp. But when we put tension on it, it will not move down the line in either direction. Okay, so we can simply take our tarp here do it a couple ways. You could run through your loop or run through your grommet. I'm gonna run through the grommet. So just pass that. That's another reason I like to use bank line. It'll pass through smaller areas easier. Run it through there. And then just take a piece of wood, stick, to call it a toggle, pass that through. I'm just going to put another prussic knot on this side. Just like 
that. Grab my torque. I'm going to do this one through the loop just for demonstration. So I'm going to go through the loop on this side. And put a toggle in. So now I can pull this tarp tight. And as you can see, the tarp is tight across the ridge line. To take down, it's just as easy. Grab your tarp, pull it, get a little slack in it. You can slide the Prusik knock down, take your toggle out, and getting the Prusik knot off, you just grab that loop on the back, and pull it, and it comes right off. Goodbye toggle, goodbye tarp. <laughs> Grab that loop, pull it off. Now with this end, you did a half hitch for safety. Take that loose. All you gotta do is grab your tag in and pull that through. like that pull that out your knot the loop you made it's going to be a little hard sometimes just give it a snap comes right off so so far we don't have any knots left on our paracord then this one here is just as simple as taking your tag in pulling it and you're done so now you just hank up your paracord, roll up your tarp, you're done. You don't have any knots, any frustrations or anything putting up and taking down your ridge line. Yeehaw. So I hope you guys found this video informative. If you already know how to tie knots, great. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you can teach me something. Let me know down in the comments. If you've never seen this before, go outside and give it a shot. Take your kids with you because they need to learn how to tie knots too, right? No more bird's nest. No more knots that you can't get out. Yeehaw. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I appreciate you watching. It's getting hot. As you can see, I'm sweating. I'm going to go inside now. <laughs> so be sure to like and comment down below and share with your friends. And I'll see you next week with another video. We're going to get out of here, Steve-O. It's freaking hot, man. You hungry? I'm hungry, too. Yeah, Steve, I'm hungry. You hungry? I'm hungry, Steve. Steve's always hungry. <laughs> Goodbye, people.